Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it, everybody. Uh, I just wanted to do an update on my Cornet uh, console. I finished hooking up my last two components to make uh, this console an all-in-one entertainment center uh, back in 1967 when it was manufactured in East Germany. Uh, they manufactured these for the United States market. Uh, this is the uh, Cornet Phonosonic. Uh, some people out there watching probably aren't familiar with this or the videos that I put out on it in the past. Uh, a lot of new subscribers to the channel, so I'll just do a quick update as well uh, showing the unit uh, and what it entails. Uh, it's a pretty neat system. Uh, the beauty lies in the simplicity back then in 1967. You know, not bogged down with a whole lot of technology. Uh, and actually the unit could be passed from generation to generation. Uh, it was passed down to me. I wanted to keep it as original as possible. But, um, you know, with the bad receiver back when I got it, I did upgrade it to something newer, which gave this unit behind me a little more flexibility and capability of running a better system through it without ruining and cutting up the integrity of the console itself. Uh, it's such a neat little unit and I wanted to keep it that way as much as possible. So for everybody who hasn't seen it, I'm sure it's something that you'll enjoy seeing uh, because I wanted to keep this for you know the past you know 40 years and better you know just keep it going the way it is uh, so let's take a look at it and uh, I'll get back with you guys okay starting uh, on the left hand side of the unit uh, it has a little uh, bar server that's uh, built into it uh, the tray folds down you can set the glasses on it and uh, you can just prepare remember this back in the 60s uh, the unit actually wound up being uh, pretty much a conversational get-together where people would sit around, listen to music, possibly have a drink, the way they featured this, you know, bar system in here. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. Down to the right side of it, you can see it has the bar itself with a pull-out tray uh, stocked with glasses and your favorite alcohol. So that makes it a kind of a unique system that I wanted to keep in with it as well. And I really enjoy having it all, you know, just the way it was intended from back in the 60s uh, for people. So I want to keep this integrity of this unit as long as possible. Uh, down below, front and center, you can see the faux fireplace, which actually didn't work when I got it as well. It needed some work. Uh, the rotating motor was seized up a little bit, but nothing that a little uh, WD-40 and oiling can't fix up uh, with a brand new, uh, I think I put a yellow light bulb in just to give it a little extra color back there to uh, help out those faux flames going. Uh, you can see to the right and left at the bottom lattice there with the red and velvet curtains. They are the six by nine three-way speakers that are built into the unit and they still work, still sound fantastic. And I have everything uh, integrated right into it also. So there is uh, just a quick look at the outside uh, workings of uh, the bar system, the faux fireplace just to uh, give it a little comfy feel while you're sitting around with friends, listening to music and having a few drinks. Uh, let's go to the center of the unit now itself. Uh, the turntable still works great. It was a little sticky when I got it from not being played. Uh, like I said, a little cleaning up does wonders for these uh, units. Overplaying is no good, but not playing either, uh, not good for it. Uh, over to the left-hand side of the phonograph, uh, you have a, a unisonic 8-track uh, player, which didn't work uh, due to a belt that just turned into a gooey, tarry mess over the years. Replaced it, cleaned up everything inside, adjusted the head, uh, got some double tracking there for a little bit. Uh, plays fantastic now as well. Um, so 
Everything in this unit is original, except for that receiver. I will leave some links below. I did some upgrades to it, uh, including some LED lighting. But uh, let's jump up to the top side, where right now the update is going to be happening. Uh, and you can see that over to the right hand side. It is the dual cassette deck and the CD player. Okay, and here are the two decks that I've added recently. Uh, they were handed down from my father. Uh, I've added them on recently, uh, gave them a cleaning, refurbishing, and they do sound nice. They are from 1989, and they are both techniques, which makes it nice because they are a set. And uh, with adding them on, makes it simple to keep uh, the, the two units together. Uh, this is uh, the dual cassette deck, as you can tell. Uh, it is capable of recording tape to tape. It has all the goodies, all the play features uh, for record levels with the LED indicator lights instead of the meters. And above that is the CD player, uh, which is nice because now I'm capable of uh, playing digital audio through this uh, 1967, which wasn't even a dream back then. So. Let's give the cassette a quick listen to. I have Alice Cooper on deck. Sounds great. Uh, I have Destroyer playing in the CD player. Uh, we'll give that a listen to as well. Okay, so just a couple snippets, uh, you know, the YouTube police. So uh, up top, let's give a listen to this. This goes through my auxiliary now, a flip of the switch, and we're ready for CD. Okay, so that is the two units. A little brief example of how they play and sound. They are going originally through the speakers of this unit itself, uh, so you can hear exactly what it intended to sound back then, and kind of what it sounds with some uh, different audio uh, equipment that's hooked up to it now. Okay, so that is a look at the update, the upgrade, and just an all all around uh, review of the whole console itself and uh, what Cornet actually put into it as well. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. Uh, for my new subscribers, thank you very much. Uh, for my older subscribers who've been here since day one, appreciate the uh, backing support that you have given me over the years. Okay, thanks for joining me everybody, appreciate it. I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care.